Good day, this is the first video in a series called Mashi Teaches Banano Vudify AD3. We start by creating and running a new project from the EDS template. This template comes with predefined code and pages to get you started. Let's change the name of our application and its title also. We will remove the extra pages we don't need. The app name is the name of the folder where our app will be published to. The app title will display on our navigation bar and also on the browser page tab. We are publishing the app on Laragon. We open the config file, our app will be running from localhost on top of SSL. The template comes with a leaflet map example, we don't need this now, let's remove the files. These are items that show on the navigation drawer. Let's do a test run of our app, after we debug it. OK, our app shows the new title and name we gave it. What we want to do is to create a login dialog. Let's copy this skeleton page code and we will use it for our page. We create a new class module and give it a sensible name. We then paste the code we copied and change it to suit our needs. We give this page a name, it will be login. We will create a layout for it. We want this to be the starting page of our app, we set the path to be forward slash. Let's open the designer and create the login layout. We give the layout a name, this will be the name that we will use on banano load layout. There should only be one root page on your app, let's fix this. Let's add a v-dialog on the new layout. We will use this for our sign-in process. We add a custom view called v-message box. This is a predefined view with a V dialog with a V card. Inside the V card, we have a V card title, V card text, V card actions. Inside the actions, we have two buttons one for the OK button and the other for cancel button. We will use this dialog for user entry, then the dialog type should be input. 
we set some properties for the OK and cancel buttons. The dialog should be shown and we also choose its transition. We have built the layout and its components, next we have to generate members. This helps to establish the bindings between the view and controllers. The dialog has two buttons, one is OK and the other cancel, we need to perform some action when those are clicked, we check these. The methods for the OK and Cancel buttons are created internally. We however need to bind these to the VU component. As these are inside our dialog, we only need to bind the state of the login dialog, after loading the layout. We will also add a set created life cycle callback. This will ensure that the dialog is visible any time the page is shown. To show or hide element during runtime, we use the update visible method. Let's run our app and see what happens. The app runs, does not show the two buttons it showed before, however our dialog is not shown. Let's investigate. Each time your app does not work as expected, start by checking the web browser console log. Currently we don't have any serious error to make our app not to run. Our mistake was to create the class module but never actually created an instance for it. We need to do that on PG index. We dim it first, then on add pages, we initialize it. Let's run the app again and see if it's doing what we want. We have lift off, our login dialog shows with the properties we set in the designer. In the next video we add input boxes to the dialog. Thank you.